Hello everybody, how you doing? Okay, so um, again I've lost the stand for my webcam so I'm holding it so I apologise in advance if uh, it's a little, you know, if it's a little shaky. Okay, so um, I'll, I've been restraining myself up to this point on doing a video on YU55. Um, you know, the asteroid YU55 or 2005 YU55. Um, but there's so much talk of it and it's right around the corner like what is it tomorrow or the next day so um yeah there's some really interesting things about this asteroid so i just want to talk about it um the reason i've been restraining myself and trying not to give much thought to it is because of the fact of um okay let's just look at the recent past in the recent past we had a lot of hype about comet Elinin and um, there was uh, the key dates about Comet Elenin in September, September 27th, remember that? You know, strange circumstances on that date, Barack Obama in um, an underground bunker in, um, where was it, Denver Airport, um, you know, plus other military and government departments as well um, <coughs> there was like I don't know some very strange things people were joining the dots and uh, considering the fact that there was an alignment on that day and the fact that previous alignments had caused the earthquakes and you know people were very much ready for something you know and, and nothing materialised um, so let's just go back a bit further you remember the Ides of March yeah what was it that was going on on the Ides of March I don't remember perhaps someone can remind me in the comments but yeah there was the um, the middle of March this year as well there was something also expected there was some strange coincidences some uh, dots to join people putting two and two together and quite reasonably and quite rationally as well and again nothing materialized that we know of okay so then it kind of makes you a little bit reluctant to um, kind of anticipate future events when previous events have not got come about as as we expect which is interesting in itself and um, I would quite like to talk in a separate video about that what's going on with that okay because it's the mainstream media that stir up the um, conspiracy theories and it's you know and, and not just conspiracy theories but actual actual events in space that could possibly pose a threat you know it's it's NASA's very own JPL, it's um, the mainstream media telling of particular military movements or government actions and movements that, you know, and, and, and it's the, you know, the speculations derived from those things. So, you know, it's like a game. That's the way I perceive it. You know, it's like some kind of a game of chess. It, I don't know, it's something, it's like, okay, let's put this information out, let's spark something, okay, to discredit people or to distract people. You know, let's bluff. I don't know. It's interesting, but that's for a separate video. But I find that very very interesting. Okay, so anyway, so why are you 55, okay? What's going on with that? Um, you know, November 9th, November 11th, will it pass with nothing? Nothing happened. Well, I hope so. But, um, again, there are strange things surrounding this asteroid that intelligent people, thinking in rational, logical ways, will put two and two together and come up with four, not five, okay, um, 
you know, and 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 these aren't these aren't nutcases, you know. The, the, these are, and 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 I myself can see the train of logic, the train of thought that will come up with um, with a dangerous scenario concerning YU55. So let's just talk about that for a second. Okay, so YU55 is an interesting asteroid because it's coming very close to the Earth. It's passing between the Moon and the Earth. Now we've had debris, little asteroids, you know, coming close to us in the past, yes. Okay, but what's special about YU55 is it's very large. Okay. Now what is it? Is it 400 meters in diameter? Uh, something like that, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, but it's irrelevant because what the point I'm trying to make is it's very large, it's coming very close. So that's what makes it special. There's also some, um, I recommend that, you know, you listen to Richard C. Hoagland. I follow Richard C. Hoagland's work. Uh, he was what? Um, a science advisor to NASA or something, or something like that. But anyway, he, he really is an interesting guy to listen to, and and it is not speculative. It is actual fact that there is some mathematical, amazing mathematics concerning um, Comet Alinin YU55. Okay, interesting numerology. Okay, he's not just playing around with numbers and making what you want of it. Okay, but listen to him because um, he uh, he'll explain it to you. Okay, all right. And um, yeah, so basically, right, concerning a linen, the mathematics concerning a linen was so incredibly um, unlikely. That it was by chance that the mathematics them itself derived the figure of what one in a billion, one in a billion odds that a linen was a natural object. Okay, so it was easy to conclude when the facts were put before you that a linen is an artificially controlled uh, so called comet. So then you know, you would think, well, there's something about that then. Well, it just, it, it, it did pass us and it's back out to space again and, you know, no, nothing has come about. But then I always maintained that Alinium was a timeline and could it be related to YU55? Well, it could be. You see, Alinium and YU55, <coughs> excuse me, were at perihelion, the closest point to its sun, uh, to, to, to the sun, on the same date, which just so happened to be September 11th, which is an interesting date. Um, so there seems to be a relationship between a linen and YU55, and not just the fact that they were at perihelion on the same date. Okay, but do your research and conclude for yourself. It's, it's very odd, very odd. But anyway, so YU55. Um, it's it's coming close. It's coming at its closest point to the Earth, between the Earth and the Moon, on I think it's um, the ninth, or it's the eighth and the ninth. I suppose it's depending on your time zone, whether it falls on the eighth or the ninth, and it's kind of overlaps. I think. Um, but here's the thing. This is this is what I feel about YU fifty five, is the fact that. It's all very well that you know NASA has um, plotted its trajectory, and you can look at the trajectory on JPL. And yes, it does come between the Earth and the Moon, but it's still what 200,000 miles away. Um, you know, so there is no imminent impact according to those trajectory uh, to, to, to those to those figures. Okay, so. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, but this is, and I've always felt this. I've always, always, always felt this, right? Consider this. It's all very well, okay? Um, anticipating the path of an object through space, yes. 
fine but what is not taken into account is the fact that um, when something comes that close to the air okay um, the earth's gravitational field <coughs> is going to take a hold of it and affect it and influence it of course it is all right consider the fact that the moon okay is a far larger object than this asteroid um, obviously the moon is what a third the size of the earth okay and yet the moon is very much in the grasp of the earth's gravitational field because the earth, the moon orbits the earth yeah we've got the moon you know the moon's not going anywhere it's, it's in our it's in our gravitational field you know we've got it okay um you know the moon's not escaping and okay so y55 is large okay and um it's coming pretty close and it's coming between the earth and the moon so it's got two gravitational influences upon it it's going to have the moon's gravitational influence it's going to have the earth's gravitational influence now whether ye55 just zips on through and goes on through and and out to space or not i i and i'm not an astronomer and i'm not a scientist but common sense tells me it is going to be affected by gravity from the moon or the earth now people are surmising that ye55 is going to hit the moon or hit the earth okay it might i would say it might all right now it's interesting how they're doing um in the pacific ocean they're doing um exercises on this particular day tsunami exercises now it could be to fear monger and to uh, distract everyone's attention and get everyone's attention on this thing and get everyone all fearful it could be because you know what I've concluded that that's what they like to do um, there's been drills on previous dates in recent history and nothing's happened and people have been thinking oh something's gonna happen because they're doing a drill and yes in history there's been actual events on days of drills you know and the very thing that the drill is about is the actual event that takes place that has happened in history absolutely and there's also been drills where nothing has happened as well so that people are expecting something to happen and it doesn't happen it's all like a head fuck you know it's like how do we know what's going on anymore it's like all bluffs and it's like a game like some game of chess it's like i don't know uh, it, 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 it's very difficult now it's getting very difficult to um anticipate anything and i think that the elites um once upon a time before we got smart all right before this like information age has come about and before people start waking up and getting smart i think that the elites just played us as a human race <coughs> and did what did what they wanted with ease right and yeah it just like kind of you know events took place that they orchestrated and had their hand upon and like they totally got away with it no one suspected a thing that's how it was in history right but you know what it's not like that anymore people are smarter and even the things in history that they got away with at the time people are beginning to realize right through freedom of information and access to information and what have you and communication you know so it's become very much now um, I don't know quite dirty okay it's, it's it's getting dirty you know their tactics all right it's getting more psychological yeah so like you know there could be they could very well create a craze about some kind of an event going on 
and then it not happened just to confuse everybody. I believe that. I totally believe that. Yeah. Because they, you know, they have they have to get dirty now. Okay, so so yeah, there are once again strange circumstances regarding Y55, um, and there was concern. Let's not forget that September 27th, the same thing with the linen. Everyone was expecting something because we joined the dots and quite rationally and quite logically come up with some speculations regarding 27th of of September. Nothing materialised. What's that about? You know, is that a tactic of the elites? I don't know. What about Barack Obama? He was supposed to be in Denver Airport underground bunker, right? Of course, people are going to speculate things with circumstances like that. You know, all kinds of things. You know, the Ides of March. Remember that? I don't remember what the so called supposed event was supposed to be, but it never materialised. But there was good reason for people to believe that it would. Yeah? So, all very strange. So, nothing may happen with YU55 passing through. It could be another headbutt by the elites, you know, because, you know, the media... Now, don't, don't think, right, that it's the, like, truthers or alternative media people that come up with this stuff, right, alone. Okay, don't, don't be thinking that, because that is just not true, right? You check it out. There has been a lot of recent mainstream coverage on YU55, and just you know, set suspicious um, lines coming from the mouths of the mainstream news reporters regarding YU55. Yeah, that spark the uh, the doomsday is all right. Now I don't think there's going to be a doomsday, but. And you know what? I, okay, so in, in conclusion, what, what, what do I believe regarding YU55? I don't know is the answer. Um, I, the, uh, that is the answer. I do not know. It could pass by, and it probably will, and nothing happen. It could impact the moon, it could impact the earth. You know, fuck knows what it's going to do. Um, but... I don't like this this week I don't like it I was going away to work I'm not gonna go to way to work because I feel uncomfortable yeah we've got we've got another okay so 9-11 the 10 year anniversary of 9-11 okay people were thinking there's gonna be like sort of some kind of an event and it didn't happen well we're not out of the woods because we've got 9-11 again haven't we the 9th of November it's just the other way around it's 11-9 rather than 9-11 okay um, we've got 11-11-11 okay we've got YU-55 we've got all kinds of um, negativity in the world <coughs> brewing up unrest in the Middle East and you know it's uh, not looking too good now I don't live in fear um, I don't give a lot of thought to it all but I'm aware of it and I certainly don't want to leave my home, leave my family uh, this week. So I'm not going to. So there you go.